Hey, welcome back to the channel. We have a special video for you guys. Definitely switching it up. We get invited to the Electrify Expo in Austin, Texas. This is like the third third one they had this year. One was in California and one was in Florida. And then we're here in Texas at the Circuits of America track. That's our Formula One track we have here in the United States. So it's a place I like to visit already. So it's cool to be able to come here for this and ride all kinds of stuff. They even roll out the red carpet for the mouse. We do not get to ride those cars you just saw. They were testing some, uh, some McLarens out there. But so don't get too excited. We don't get to take the Rikers out there on the track. But I mean, you got stuff from like these electric bikes we get to ride. Uh, electric full-on scooters like the one you just saw a lot of familiar brands you're gonna see uh, like super 73 and Zugo uh, electric uh, vehicles period I mean there's even a three-wheel electric cycle that we ended up getting to ride by Arkhamoto I'll have a whole video on just that but I do show off pretty much everything so this video is gonna be the first part of a series I do and this one is going to be the overall of everything we got to do through mouse moto yeah and just like all of our field trips we have to get there first so we ride our can-am rikers out there that's my can-am riker 600 putting my shad bag on for the second time so making sure i have it secure and i wanted to show this because i still have the stock battery on my riker which i know isn't good but now that it's getting cooler outside it's like way worse and i want to show you how i jumped it with my car <laughs> Yeah, big time drag when you got somewhere to go, but I blame myself. I knew it was going to happen sometime soon, and I have bought a replacement battery since then. Uh, I jumped it with the car. I just had to make sure the car wasn't running. Yeah, like I said, I already have a new battery, the, the upgraded one that you can get for the Riker, and I definitely recommend that um, if you know that you for sure just have the, the original stock battery in it it's a it's a pretty solid upgrade that you can do pretty easy yourself and it's just me on my way to go scoop up kevin that's all you're gonna wear why don't you get my text I got nothing, look. here you got a brand new phone look. get out of here i sent you those last night i sent you this I sent what you does this. that say taking my gear i missed it i am what is wrong with you? You do that every time, dude. I got a text from you that says when I roll up, you're ready to go. Yeah. I know that. Uh, like, <laughs> and I'm looking at you wearing a polo shirt. Silly, silly. Oh, and I had to jump my uh, Riker. Oh, nice. I have the OG crappy battery. But I told you it's been, you know, it's been doing that. What is it? Yeah, I don't know what that, oh, that jumps it? Oh, nice, dude. At least one of us got something. Yeah, the NoCo boosts are sick. I actually ended up getting one for myself. Do what? What, 130? Oh, police on 130? What are you on, Waze? Pretty legit. It's usually legit. We use this as police. What do you guys end up using for hand signals, especially police out there for like speed traps and stuff that Waze? I know Waze will let you know, like what Kevin was saying. That's what he uses for everything. I just use like Google for the most part. A lot of times it lets you know. But it would just be like one of us running GPS on our ride, so you know the other everyone else could jam out and do whatever they need to do, or to entertain themselves when they're riding, where they're not interrupted by the uh, directions, which is what I how I like to be. By the time that I am running it, I'm like, yo, I need to tell them because they don't know. And you'll see like one of your homies like driving past you real fast, but he did not get that alert, so we came up with little hand signals. But check this out. I wanted to show this on the left. That's that Tesla building that they're building in Austin. Uh, man, they're getting it done too. And uh, Kevin tracked it and it was a mile long. Wait, what was that? <laughs> Are you racing something, dude? I don't, I don't remember. There's nothing about that that's electric. 
that's on that track right now, dude. I don't ever remember 130 being that. They're racing. They lie, dude. They lie, 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 lie. I mean... Mm -mm. Yeah, man, way disappointed my helmet couldn't fit in there. I had to chain it to Kevin's Riker, but we made it. Look at the media tag there. We, we listened to some cat. This guy was from BMW going over the history of their electric vehicles. Way cool. And then Kevin's making that taco, uh, that breakfast taco history there. Well, your boy was throwing down too, couldn't pass it up. But hey, they, they told us we had access to this box and we got to watch. They were uh, McLarens out there doing like some, some test rides. So we hung out there for a bit because I love uh, watching cars on that track. Way too cool. And yeah, spoiler for sure, I do not get to take my Riker out on that track. I'm going to be showing a few different bikes, of course, in this video. Big, big time electric bikes out there right now so a lot of stuff to demo and stuff to ride this one was cool the v-volt because the battery was hidden inside the tube and it was belt driven so if you know anything about electric stuff you still have noise from the chain and all that so low maintenance with the belt way too cool uh, i like that one a lot i think it was the only one i saw that was belt driven and then you have the the little electric dirt bike with the training wheels had to show that off and it's really cool trial bike man look at the back wheel on that Oh, that's good. Yeah, not, not too soft. You're never sitting on it. Yeah. You can sit much anyways, just to rest a little bit on them. Is this kind of styled like a trial bike? Yeah. Or okay, yeah, because I noticed the wheels. Yeah, they have a trial version too without a seat. Oh, so it's dipped in. But I like it like this, because it has that setup, yeah, but you can still like, you know. still rest on the trail. Yeah, so you may not always be trying to like jump cement walls, you know what I mean? Yeah, you might kind of want to sit for a second. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. No, they're pretty, they're pretty amazing. They'll go up almost anything. Just the traction on the tires and the power delivery on the electric. Everybody, everybody's a model. Nice. Electric motion. Yep. Made out of France. Out of France. Look at that. Top speed, 46. Nice. Well, the retail is like something like 5,000 or? No, on these from Electric Motion, uh, the, the one version is eight, and then the, then there's versions with an actual hydraulic clutch to them. Oh, yeah. They're up in the 10,000 range. Gotcha. But I mean, it looks like that, all that quality and everything yeah. is there, even in the shocks and and all that stuff. Out of France. Yep. Yeah. This one has an electronic clutch, and then you can ch change the plugins, and then it's like a progressive regenerative brake. So when you pull it in, the rear wheels start recharging the back. Yeah. That one I didn't get to ride, but I do ride this one in another video. Is that it's lightweight? Take the battery out. Yeah, I was gonna ask about that because it's kind of beefy, dog. It's beefy, yeah, it's beefy. The aluminum frame, so it's it's 100 pounds without the battery, and then because see this battery is 50 pounds. You see how kind of low it sits. The center of gravity is so low, so that a lot of uh, a lot of gals and folks that are intimidated by um, the bigger bikes, the beefier ones, mm -hmm. can ride this one and be really comfortable. Um, it looks comfortable. Yeah. Super comfortable. It feels really light. It definitely has some bones on the back. And these are some of the saddlebag type setup that it can come with, or an option for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. These are accessories. Um, and the other accessory is a back rack which is similar to that but on the back and i like this whole like gauge cluster setup uh yeah. that's pretty legit in there oh yeah it's because it houses the this crazy headlight that looks like it does work i guess if it's meant for being on some property and yeah. being out there then uh -huh. so as far as i mean this is a is this is like a stock setup i mean other than the the bags here and yeah. then this here yeah it's pretty much how you get it yeah this is yeah and this is what we call the adventure model it's the one that's road legal, so it's got mirrors, turn signals, and a display on it, and the back ones as well. We also have a work model, it's our black bike, and that doesn't have mirrors, it's not road legal, or turn, and it doesn't even have this thing. And the reason why we made that, that model is because people on farms or hunters, a lot of times would buy this bike, and then after five, 600 miles, things would be broken on it. So we, uh, we built like a more durable bike. See, and then yeah. uh, made it five hundred dollars cheaper. Got it. Because all of this stuff is going to be as necessary for them anyways, yeah. or whatever. If yeah. they're 
just using it on their property. Totally. Nice. And this looks legit too, like you can put some stuff on it. Yeah, totally. Nice. Let us know what you guys think about that one. I thought it was pretty sweet because it's more like a moped scooter than any of the other ones. It doesn't have pedals or anything like that, like these Super 73s. And uh, Kevin and I do take a couple of them out there on the little track they had for the expo. Uh, you definitely feel the in two wheel drive like that. And it's just a fun ride. No pedals like these Super 73s. They just have like regular dirt bike, dirt bike bags. But these 73s are tight. These are like the little custom ones. You see the Hot Wheel one. You may have seen that on some posts online. This guy was talking about them and he said that they Hot Wheels actually made a little model of it and they sold out so quick. Getting them is like pretty rare. Uh, and I'll have a whole video. We ride 73s. This is just an overview. This is the first part of the series. This Zugo was pretty dope. It's like a tattoo graphic on them. We didn't get to ride any of those, so I'm just trying to give it some shine here in the video. This is pretty uh, sturdy. This yeah. whole back rack thing. What is the design of this whole rack for? So this is an accessory, so you can put a couple of kids on the back of it. And we do the, the soft pads, so they have a comfortable seat. Um, put kids on the back of it? Yeah. How does that work? So you have the soft pads that go here, and then they just sit inside the frame. They've got something to hold on to. Oh yeah? yeah? Like they're in a wagon? Yeah. That's the name! Exactly. Do you have that accessory? Uh, I don't have the soft pads with me. Oh. Um, we have them available, but not here for some reason. Mm -hmm. um, but we do a ton of different accessories. You can put the Yep Maxi Child Seat on here as well to carry the smaller kids. You can go without this frame, and we do little handlebars that they can hold on to if they're getting a little older. Um, we also do the running board, so there's something for them to stand on. We do butt pegs as well. Oh, we so so when they're in here, their feet are coming. Yeah, it does. yeah. So you, yeah. you can put butt pegs here, or you can put the running board across. Yeah, wow. So if you're talking like a, an adult and then two kids, so well, this thing has got some power going yeah. on with it, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this thing, it'll hold up to 350 pounds, so you can load this thing up. Dang. You know, that's a, that's a legit price, man. Oh, yeah. And I, I ride one of these. I don't have kids. Uh -huh. I put a big platform right, Wayne, on the back of it. And I have a basket on the front. Okay, Wayne, and then my day's off. I don't use my car. Everything is done on the back. So it might have been you. Well, yeah, because it's like... If we can haul like that, that's like a motorcycle. Oh, yeah. I, I just I do all my shopping. If I need to pick up anything from the hardware store or yeah. anything like that, there's no stopping you. Wagon, I'll strap it down. I'm good. Ah, that's With crazy. Up to a 45 mile range still. So. so, what I imagined by the name itself was that uh, it was designed to haul something, but it is the wagon. Nice. Yeah, way impressed uh, with that rad power bike, uh, that wagon model of it, just because of the power that it has to be able to haul like a couple of children and then a rider and the range and the price, because you saw it was like uh, under $2,000, which is pretty good for this stuff. Uh, Wicked Thumb Electro Cycles. We're going to have a whole video with these cats because these guys are from Texas. They're going to get the most shine out of anyone. They're like in the Dallas area and Denton, I believe or somewhere around Denton, and that's just like Central Texas uh, like us, which is way more north. So you'll be seeing some more stuff out of those cool custom bikes. After that, um, man, the Huck, Huck bikes were cool because they were uh, bikes without pedals, which you know, those are my favorite ones to ride, just like my Segway X160. Um, but these these had some style. You can see that, that model there, and the other ones are just like old school bikes, like cafe style um racers uh and kevin showing them me this uh i didn't even know this. that's a skateboard deck dude that's uh that's got some style uh i forgot where they're from so i don't want to lie i want to say south carolina but i hope i'm not too wrong with that but you can check them out they're on instagram and everything uh onyx uh that's a big time one i'm sure if you're familiar with 
electric bikes uh, you've heard of Onyx before. So I got to ride those. Also, I'm sure I'll have a video or combine it with another one because that one was a fun ride and they had a couple different models and I rode both. One of them uh, regular size and one of them a little bit shorter, but the short one was also a lot of fun. But you'll see that in another video uh, in this series. But look at that. I know some of you cats, I, I post some stuff on Instagram of me riding around on this three wheel cycle. The crazy part is that it's electric because we're already used to riding three wheels, but this is something different for sure. And I ride two different models. That first model you saw there was like a prototype for like a, like a camera gimbal pretty much that's on three wheels. And then I ride the one, uh, I'll have some ride footage. You saw my helmet there with my camera mount. With the, with the top over it as me sitting in it actually to the left of this one. And then I get to ride that one. You can see that's a dog carrier on the side of it. Uh, that's like the um, the owner, I believe. And he said that uh, that was this one here that I'm sitting in. It was like the prototype first model. So you'll see me uh, put some speed on it a little bit and then get out on the road outside of a, outside of the track period. So another another video to look forward to. I just can't put it all at once. This is supposed to be an overview. I don't go too much into the cars, so I kind of show this here. Um, and this is, of course, a Mercedes with some killer wheels on it, so I just show that off. Kevin uh, gets to drive the, the Polestar around, which was sick. And, you know, Kevin's into the Mini Coopers and uh, he got to ride the electric version of that. So he had fun doing his electric car thing. Uh, we both had fun doing the cycles. Really fun trip when you definitely appreciate Electrify Expo having us out there. And I hope it's a thing that they'll do for a while because we'd like to come back next year. Um, this is the Polestar. I know it's kind of trippy having a glass roof like that, but he did explain the way it worked. Uh, I think it's like the way the tent and insulation is. It's not like a, a hot box like you think it would be. But yeah, Electrify Expo. Thanks for watching this first part. Hope you stick around for the other videos. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to Thrill Mouse Moto. I was paid to say this since Barry said he felt kind of weird asking. He also wanted me to say Baja Blast Slams and yeah, dog, Thrill Mouse Moto.